you see you need to understand triangular trade or triangular slave trade or cross atlantic you see there is a triangle if you see on the map triangle goes like this left side it's a whole chunk of america it goes a little down to south america so south america north america central america then all across on the top of the north then road right touches to the european con continent and then going down from the africa and going back again to caribbean islands this is the slave trade they did it either the slaves were sent directly like cross atlantic all across the atlantic ocean or they were sent in this triangular shape of a trade christopher columbus these people spanish portuguese then french british and these all were the sailors italians christopher columbus these all people were looking for gold resources and they were going and traveling when he hit and discovered these caribbean islands the west indies we call it he thought that he reached to india but red complexion people so he called them red indians to especially to the north american people and this name americas was discovered before that guy and that guy now was i think so was italian or i don't know was portuguese uh, from portugal or what he his name was americas and from americas the name discovered was named to that continent america and christopher columbus discovered that once they discovered that they brought them uh, barter trade stuff with them and they started this what you call columbia exchange columbian exchange hold the exchange of the products they call them staple food they were in a circulation for example the things which were only to be found in south america my you have guyana and you have many places in south america those tobacco and then uh, trees corns uh, just what you call uh, grains many other things were their staple food was brought to europe and then europe people your people they send their product staple food to the people who were living there not for the natives the one who were living there as migrated people colonists for their pleasures and then they got many diseases with them and those poor african and the poor native when they got malaria the smallpox and these uh, what you call poxes of these uh, these diseases they took this these diseases with them by crossing african slaves that they took those slaves and when they brought this to native lands their diseases those native poor people were unable to cope it up because they were not immune to these kind of diseases millions of them die even 90% of people died like that